Are you being lazy enough? Yeah, that's right. I asked, are you being lazy enough? I could feel, I could feel the smile on my face just even posing that question. Because a lot of us here, we really value hard work. Um, and I'm someone who, while I recognize the value of hard work, I get really excited and I truly acknowledge those who are able to do hard things the easy way. And that's the space that I want to invite you to come and play. I had a conversation the other day with uh, a couple of fathers as I was going to uh, uh, an all dad uh, dinner. And it was the first time I met them. And I told them that while I was at the table that I'm one of the laziest people that they'll meet. And I find a lot of strength in my laziness. And I'll be honest, like the, uh, the looks at the table were definitely judging. And it was really interesting because at this point in my life, I'd realized, I'm like, I want you to judge. Like, and the judgment here is like, was this? And I told him this very upfront. I'm like, oh, I look for, I, I'm one of the laziest people you know, uh, and I'm also incredibly ambitious. And here goes the thing. I, I look for the way to be able to bring my ambitions to life in the laziest way possible. In fact, like I value those who are able to get the same results with less effort and more ease than others, because that in and of itself gives you an exponential return. It's one of the things I, I think back to my time in consulting and I could never get ahead. I could never get ahead because the lazier I got, the more work just that, that came along. Uh, and it's part of the reason now why I, why I love doing things over video and why I challenge myself to start recording live coaching sessions and creating a daily distinction every single day, something new. Because in this way here, while there's a lot that's in here, this is one of the easiest ways for me to be able to make an impact and the effort that it takes will continue to provide value years and years and years into the future. From that place there, while it's work right now, it's one of the laziest things that I can do. And I'm going to invite you to be lazier. Like, just take it on. Try it out. What's one thing right now that you are lauding as needing hard work? And what would happen if in the next 24 hours, you decided to take the lazy approach to it? not as a way of doing less, but actually as a way of doing more. There's more videos to come about this here. There's more to come along this, this level of the being lazy, but I'm gonna leave it here for now. And I invite you to come enter a conversation, leave a comment back. What about this feels really good to you? What about this like feels really uncomfortable? What do you just like completely disagree with on it? There's something here that this should be a challenging idea. It's a thought provoking, thought provoking idea. That's what these daily distinctions are all about. So let's enter a conversation around it. And if you're interested in finding a place that will help you cultivate even more of your laziness, uh, or if you're looking to just experience what it's like to be powerfully lazy, come over and join us in the Trailblazer tribe. It's our free community uh, and you can be a part of it by going to niyama.com slash tribe. That's N-I-A-M-A-H.com slash tribe. And you'll get a chance to experience being lazy and see some of the power and benefits that come along from it. Here goes the thing. You got this. And we got you. Journey on. Hey, Oniyama here. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't yet. And then go ahead and leave one of your insights from today's video in the comments below. If you're looking to take this deeper, you can go and watch another video or you can go to niyama.com slash tribe to get exclusive invitation to our tribe member only events. I'll see you soon.